My sister kicked me out of her life but wants me back, except it's only for my husband's seed. I am a 28-year-old have an older sister, Angela, who's 30, whom I have never liked. She always had to compete with me, but never in a normal sibling rivalry way. Our entire life she always seemed resentful of my existence as the spotlight couldn't perpetually shine on her, so she had to step on everything I enjoyed. Per se, if I learned piano, she had to learn piano, if I excelled at a subject she suddenly became a scholar in it, if I told my mom I had a crush, Angela would be dating that boy in a week. I would always tell my parents when she did this but I was disregarded, because sisters copy each other and I can't gatekeep what she likes. She always monitored what activities I did, and the clothes I wore, so she could outdo me. If I wore a flannel, Angela would come to school wearing an all-flannel dress. It was 2010 and that was peak fashion in our school Lamau. There was also more praise that followed Angela, even if I took the initiative to begin the activity first, she was praised because she was better. My parents would miss work to attend her dance recitals, going to every single one, because the world would stop if they missed it. However, I remember maybe two of mine they attended because they were stuck at work or were otherwise preoccupied. Angela reveled in this. She would make comments under her breath around our parents. Whenever our parents weren't around she'd tell me how much she hated me and how I should stop trying because I would always come second to her. She also physically bullied me in school. Angela purposely tripped me, threw things at me, and hit me in the hallways on a nearly daily basis. The school had gotten involved multiple times, threatening Angela with suspension and my parents fought it every time. My parents repeatedly told administration that this was a family matter and we were just bickering like normal sisters. She was. Never once reprimanded by either parent. Once Angela was caught impaling a cat on the school fence and my parents still defended her saying this was normal teenage behavior. I often was in trouble as Angela would start crying, saying how she was being targeted by the school when I had antagonized her. After one of these occasions Angela cut and bruised herself to prove to dad that I was the aggressor. I became a pariah due to Angela's malicious rumors about me, so it was difficult for me to make friends, I resorted to only befriending people from other districts. Angela eventually made sure I had nobody by stalking them, befriending them, telling all my friends lies about how I was favored by our parents and I constantly bullied and belittled her. She even stole boyfriends of mine doing this. Convincing them I was horribly mean and an awful person that copied her every move. Once she catfished me on MySpace for four months, and baited me into sending her nudes, which she proceeded to send my parents and everyone in school, including teachers. Later on, she told one of the boys I liked that those were actually her pictures and I had catfished her. The day of my high school graduation my mom sat me down and told me Angela revealed the horrid abuse she'd suffered at my hand and I was no longer welcome in their home. After moving out the next day, my parents made very few attempts to communicate with me, only the occasional holiday and birthday text. All financial aid was also abruptly ended as soon as I stepped foot on campus. I met my now husband shortly after this, and we were married within a year. They did not feel inclined to attend my wedding or even congratulate me. I informed my parents when I had my first child eight years ago as an opening but they have made no attempt to contact or meet any of my three children. Best I know of Angela now from what I've heard, is that she got married to one of the boyfriends she stole from me in high school and she's been posting about. Her infertility issues and how she can't offer my parents their first grand baby apostrophe. After years of silence, I received and text at 8 this morning from my mother that saying hey, it's me your mama. We haven't talked in a while and I surely miss you terrible. I wanted to let you know your sister just had a miscarriage earlier this week. Angie and Justin are struggling a lot right now. Send something a little sweet her way, I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Get back to me I love you. I hate to say it but I'm glad she's suffering. I'm glad she doesn't get to be a mother. If she tormented me for years, what would she do to a child? Especially a girl? I don't wish death on any baby, but I know in my heart that child would be damaged by her. I'm angry at my parents expecting me to have any sense of obligation to her. I don't even have any sense of obligation to them. They always believed her and dismissed me. I was always the problem child, and it's strange how my mother can be so warm to me when asking me to do something for my sister. Also the fact they cared more about my sister's now dead fetus than my actual children, who wonder why they only have one set of grandparents. I feel some sort of guilt for it, but I refuse to offer any condolences to my destructive narcissistic sister who has been justified in her bad behavior since birth. Maybe this will change her, help her develop empathy or any type of emotion that isn't hate or vindictiveness. If that happens I would be more than willing to offer support but until then I feel nothing but a small inkling of happiness that she's hurt. Am I awful for this? I decided not to respond to my mother. I blocked both of my parents and I thought it would end there, but when does it ever? Wednesday morning, my messenger was being flooded with texts from my parents' siblings. Most of the messages consisted of me being told I need to answer my mother's calls and how callous I was being. 
I proceeded to block all of them as well. My cousin heard this from her younger sister, who is subject to being around my parents and Angela for family dinners. My mother and her siblings all live within a couple blocks from each other and eat together most nights. I was sent a message and Aunt Kathy is my mom, and it said, Angela kept calling you an abusive ingrate because she wouldn't talk to Aunt Kathy. Aunt Kathy said they need to start inviting you to family poop so she comes around to being a surrogate. It got weird really quick because Angela said she wants to use your husband's sperm so her kid is tall and has blue eyes. Then Kathy was saying how they just need to be around her for like a year then they can cut her off again or whatever. Angela kept saying you are the only way she can have kids because she doesn't want to raise someone's trash baby. Reading those messages made me want to hurl. Do they think my system is some fish hatchery that can be bought with some kind words in casserole? It's nice to know Angela is too much of a narcissistic SS to adopt though. I'm officially done with every single one of them. If they try to come around me I will get a restraining order before they can even darken my doorstep. Between the weak conspiracy they've come up with to try to use me like a baby bargain bin and the nasty words they continue to speak about me, I will no longer claim to have a family outside of the one I've created. I'm sorry if this is difficult to read but reading that again just got me so worked up.